This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course and part of Course D. In the Express course, it's Lesson 15. In Course D, it is Lesson 12. Until loops in maze. Puzzle 6. Use an if block to help the zombie decide when to turn. Then get the zombie to a the sunflower. Okay, use an if block. Oh, that's a new block. Use an if block? If. Huh, okay. So, if path, uh, use an if block. All right, so we want to do this in less than five blocks. If path to the left, do... So this is like a wall loop. We're checking something. All right. So let's see. If path to left. Hmm. Well, I know we want to go to the flower and we need to use less than five blocks. So we're going to be repeating something. Now, I need to move forward a bunch, but I can only use forward once. To do that, then, I'm going to make use of win wall path ahead. So, hey, character check every step if there is still path ahead if not stop so this is gonna everything in this block in this wall here is going to be repeated as long as there is a path ahead we check each step and say computer is there path ahead true there's path ahead okay move forward Joop. back to the top computer is there still path ahead true yes path ahead okay move forward Joop. Computer, is there path ahead? Nope, you're at an edge. No path. Oh, okay. Zoop. We're done repeating, and we would run code below it. So as long as there's path ahead, but it wants us to use an if. Ah, uh, there's two ways to... Ah. Uh, so what we can do is very similar to what I just said. Instead of using a wall, we're going to use an if. Okay, we're going to move forward until we get to the sunflower, which sounds somewhat dangerous, but it will be fine because every time before we move forward, we're checking if path to the left, if path to the left, we're going to turn left. So instead now, we're not checking, we're not moving while there's a path ahead. We're checking if there's a path to the left. So when we get out here, if there's a path beside us, the computer will say, it's just like the wall loop when we were saying, is there a path ahead? True, run code. Well, now every time, and we're going to repeat this uh, until we get to the sunflower, before we move forward, we're going to say every repeat, hey, computer, is there a path to the left of us? If so, turn left. Okay, so right now, nope, there's not, and so it won't turn us left. We'll just go forward. Now, nope, there's no path to the left of us, so it won't turn us left. It won't run this block. We just move forward. Now on this repeat, because it's going to repeat, we're not to the sunflower, if path ahead, yep, or, I mean, if path to the left. Well, yeah, there's path to the left. It is true, and so the computer should drop and read this code and run it, which is to turn. And we did. Now we're done with that, and we'll go to the next line. Okay, now we hit our repeat. We check no path ahead. Move forward. Let's try running it. If loops are tricky, and it's weird that they just suddenly threw them at us, but they're powerful tools. You could have also used the wall loop in this uh, puzzle, I believe. Let's uh, keep going. 